everyone. Okay, awesome. Hey, two-year-olds, this video is for August, week two. We have this new theme of construction zone and our bottom line all month long, we're asking who is powerful? God is powerful. And our memory verse, great is our Lord and mighty in power. Oh, I don't have the memory verse motion. Hmm, I don't know where those are at. Okay, oh, there's one right here. Okay. So great, you do jazz hands, is our Lord, point up, and mighty in power, hands on hips. Psalm 147, verse 5. Okay, so last week kids learned about how God made them and God is powerful. This week our story is about Moses and the sea um, from the book of Exodus, and our story focus is God is awesome. So a little summary, God's power is awesome. Week two, we will hear the story of when God used his awesome power to divide the Red Sea and make a dry path for Moses and the Israelites to walk across. Just in case we've heard this story so many times, we've lost some of the wonder, let's read that again. God divided a body of water for his people. There was a wall of water on each side of them as they walked across on dry land. That is powerful because God is powerful. So going over to our leader guide for this week, first activity um, and one of the interactivities before a large group is just called fish. So you're just gonna have the kiddos stand in front of you and invite them to swim around the room like fish while making fish faces. So just saying, let's be fish. We're gonna swim around the room like fish and don't forget to make your fish faces. So show them how to do that. And then just great job, you guys were awesome fish today. In our Bible story, we're gonna hear where fish, we're gonna hear about where fish live in the sea. And then another interactivity that you can do is called bubble path. So up here we have a big line of bubble wrap and a noodle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the kiddos stand on one end of the bubble path, and you're gonna stand on the opposite end and hold the staff, which is the noodle. And you're gonna hold the staff in the air and instruct the kids to walk on the bubble path. And after a few seconds, you're gonna lower the staff and ask the kids to stop. And then you're just gonna keep doing that. So you're gonna to say, today we'll hear our Bible story, how a man named Moses made a special path. And we have a special path too. So let's all walk on our path. I'm gonna stand here. And when you see me hold my staff up, you can walk on the path. But when I put my staff down, everybody walking has to freeze. Are you ready? Let's go. And then just end by saying, that was so cool. Today, we're going to hear a Bible story about Moses and the path that God made. So you can either have them swim like fish to large group, or you can hold up your staff and have them walk in trees while you're walking to large group. When you get back from large group, um, one of the activities that you can do to get back, this is our memory verse review activity. You have the memory verse up at the top of the page, so you're going to practice saying it with the motions several times, and then you're going to give each one of the kids one of these pages, and we've got some watercolor paints here and watercolor brushes up here. So what they suggest doing is just putting some water of your own in these each little paint things, and then letting the kids paint and not giving the kids any water, which makes sense. They're just using one color. So you're gonna have them color, watercolor paint on either side of the tape line after you practice the memory verse. So you're gonna say, in our Bible story today, we heard about Moses and how God was so powerful that he made a special path for Moses by parting the sea. The words on this page are our memory verse, so then you could practice it. Say, we're gonna make a path under the words, a path just like in our Bible story. So you guys are going to paint above the tape, you can paint on the tape, you can paint below the tape. And then you're going to say, hmm, when they're finished, this doesn't really look like a path. Let's see what happens when we take the tape off. Wow, I see a path just like the one in our story. Great job. Let's say our memory verse tells us that God is powerful. So who is powerful? God is powerful. And then the next activity, um, we'll have two blue tablecloths. I don't have those up here yet. And you're gonna spread them on the floor beside each other and you're gonna pretend that they are the sea. And you're gonna stand at the edge of the sea with the children and briefly kind of retell the story. And when you get to the part where God splits the sea, two leaders will hold up each sheet to make walls with the water. And you're gonna invite kids to walk between the walls of the water on the dry path. And you're going to talk about how God's power is so awesome, he split an entire sea. So 
It's so good to see you guys today. Come stand by this water with me. This isn't really water, but today we're going to pretend it's the big blue sea from our Bible story. And Moses was leading all the people away from the mean Pharaoh and his soldiers. But they had one big problem. A lot of water was blocking their way. But God's power is so awesome that he split the sea so Moses and the people could keep walking. So then have some volunteers pick up the sheets and make walls of water and then say, okay, everyone, keep walking on dry ground just like Moses and the people did. And while we walk, let's say, God is powerful. God is powerful. God is powerful. So only God can split a huge sea to make dry ground for people to walk on. Wow, God's power is awesome. Who's powerful? God's powerful. And then another activity that you can do with one of those blue tablecloths is you're going to lay it flat on the floor and you're going to ask kids to stand around it with you and invite them to each pick up a section. You're going to make this tablecloth like a parachute and have the kids shake their arms so that the parachute moves really fast like water in the sea. And you're going to say, God is so powerful that he parted the sea in our Bible story today. So we're going to play parachute. Today, our parachute is blue. And let's pretend that it's the sea. And can we make the water move really fast? And just have them do that lots of times. Awesome job. God is so powerful. He can do anything. Who is powerful? God is powerful. So that might be a good activity to save for the end if you've got some extra time. And the last activity is their little craft. So you are going to give each kid a sheet that looks like this. And then you're going to give each kid a little thing of fish stickers. And you're going to give each kid a little Moses finger puppet. And what you are going to do is you're going to say, today in our Bible story, we heard about something only God and his big power can do. He split the sea in two. So let's make Moses and the sea craft. This is a picture of when God told Moses to hold the staff over the water and God split the water in two and made a dry path down the middle. So can you guys color the dry path? So have them color this dry path part. And then you're going to say... Now we're going to color the water part and add some fish stickers. Nice. Now these slide, now slide these two, your two fingers through the holes in your Moses puppet like this, and you can walk Moses through the path. So you might have to make the holes bigger for your fingers, but you're going to show them how Moses can walk down the dry path. And then you'll just kind of summarize with the rest of the story right here, reminding kids who is powerful. God is powerful. So that's it for this week, guys. Awesome story talking about God's power. Don't forget to pass out memory verse cards and parent cues for your kiddos. Everything that you need should be up in these bins at the top. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for serving this week. I'm so, so grateful for all of you. I'm more grateful than you guys will ever know. And we'll see you on Sunday.